Bonjour et bienvenue dans ce nouvel épisode de J'améliore mon anglais. Je suis Séverine et je vous propose d'améliorer votre anglais à travers ces podcasts dans lesquels on découvre chaque fois un nouvel article de Wikinews. Je vous propose aussi d'aller faire un tour sur le blog Langonote sur lequel je vous propose euh, des petites astuces et des outils pour aussi améliorer votre anglais. C'est parti pour l'article d'aujourd'hui. Aujourd'hui, on parle business, succession et Walt Disney, même si c'est juste le contexte. L'article euh, est comme d'habitude un article de Wikinews, celui-ci date de 2005 et vous retrouverez le lien vers l'article complet dans l'article ben du blog Langonaut. Le titre de cet article, Walt Disney Company Reconciles with Disney Hair. Donc clairement, on va parler de Disney et de, de, de succession en quelque sorte au sein de la compagnie. Un peu de vocabulaire pour comprendre tout ça. To issue, publier, to resign, démissionner. A chairman, c'est le chef du conseil d'administration. To be biased, être biaisé ou avoir une préférence pour quelque chose. The CEO, c'est le chief executive officer, qui est le directeur général. Et le COO, le Chief Operating Officer, qui est le directeur des opérations. Donc on a to issue, to resign, to be biased, a chairman, a CEO, a COO. Je vous donne tout de suite le contenu de cet article de façon un peu lente. Walt Disney Company reconciles with Disney Hair. Today, the Walt Disney Company issued a joint statement with business partners Roy E. Disney and Stanley Gold to the media as a show of reunion between the two camps after nearly three years of hostility. Roy E. Disney son of company co-founder Roy O. Disney and nephew of the company namesake Walt Disney had resigned from his job as chairman of feature animation at the company after experiencing difficulties with the company's board of directors, many of whom were biased towards company CEO Michael Eisner's view of what direction the company should take. Eisner is due to retire from the company this September and the talks with Disney and Gold are believed to have been led by Eisner successor Bob Iger who is currently president and COO of the company. Iger has shown great interest in building relationships back up with many companies who have refused to work with Disney until Eisner leaves, such as Pixar Animation and George Lucas. Large score of Disney fans had hoped Roy would read the Disneyland dedication speech on the theme park's 50th birthday next week, which was originally read by Walt on the park's opening day, but Roy had already entered an annual sailing race from Los Angeles to Honolulu. Voilà donc pour ces difficultés au sein de l'entreprise Disney. Avant de passer à la deuxième partie du podcast, je vous le rappelle, si ça vous a plu, partagez, faites-le connaître et si vous avez des suggestions, n'hésitez ben pas à me contacter via... Euh, généralement, le plus simple, c'est via le blog langonote.com. On passe à la suite, je vous redonne le vocabulaire. To issue, publier. To resign, démissionner. A chairman, le chef du conseil d'administration. To be biased, être biaisé ou avoir une préférence. 
the CEO, Chief Executive Officer, c'est le Directeur Général. The COO, Chief Operating Officer, c'est le Directeur des Opérations. On passe à une lecture à une vitesse plus naturelle. Walt Disney Company reconciles with Disney Hair. Today, the Walt Disney Company issued a joint statement with business partners Roy E. Disney and Stanley Gold to the media as a show of reunion between the two camps after nearly three years of hostility. Roy E. Disney, son of company's co-founder Roy O. Disney and nephew of the company's namesake Walt Disney, had resigned from his job as chairman of the feature animation at the company after experiencing difficulties with the company's board of directors, many of whom were biased towards company CEO Michael Eisner's view of what direction the company should take. Eisner is due to retire from the company this September, and the talks with Disney and Gold are believed to have been led by Eisner's successor, Bob Iger, who is currently president and COO of the company. Iger has shown great interest in building relationships back up with many companies who have refused to work with Disney until Eisner leaves, such as Pixar Animation and George Lucas. Large scores of Disney fans had hoped Roy would read the Disneyland dedication speech on the Themes Park's 50th birthday next week, which was originally read by Walt on the park's opening day, but Roy had already entered an annual sailing race from Los Angeles to Honolulu. Now here is my question to you. Do you think it's important that a company remains within the family of its founder? Why? That's all for today. Thank you very much for listening and until next time. Bye.